All right, guys, I'm gonna make this quick, but I am a DJI Mavic Flyer, and one of the complaints from many of us has simply been why they made this controller to only fit up to a iPhone 7 Plus or something comparable. They did not make it to fit an iPad. So there's been a lot of contraptions that people have come up with to attach into the controller here and it protrudes up and it hangs similar to the Phantom 3 or Phantom 4 controller. I wasn't ever satisfied with that. It felt like it was gonna fall or it was just a little flimsy. No one has made a, a very good one. So I started looking closer at the controller itself for the Mavic and I noticed that you know we have these folding arms here of course and they're hitting a point I'll show you a close-up here that is keeping them from going all the way up so I simply had the idea of could I take my torch you're gonna need a torch although you may not have to have a torch combined with just like an exacto knife a really sharp razor blade and could I melt down this portion uh, that is blocking. Let me show you. I'm going to try to take a light. So I'm going to show you here on the controller where it is hitting. I'm going to try to use an LED light to give you. Okay, you can see right, right here, uh, this little portion right here where my finger is at, uh, is further out. If you get your Mavic controller, you can see this real fast. You can see how it is it's got like a, a little zigzag going. So when this arm, pull this arm all the way back, when this arm is pulled back, it's actually hitting, you can see right there, see how the arm is hitting that protruding piece of plastic. So again, the simple thought was, can we grind that down or melt that down to where the arm goes up even higher? I can show you on this side, I've already done this side as a test and it worked. Uh, let me get a better light. See how I have taken that zigzag out. Oh, that's a good angle right there. If you get your Mavic controller, you'll see mine is not, mine is completely flat all the way across. What this allows for is for this arm to go all the way back rather than stopping at about right there before. Okay, so let's continue on here and let me show you what I did. All right, so we're going to go ahead and light up our burns matic torch. You can buy one of these at Home Depot or Lowe's or anything. It's very simple. You can take your, your uh, simple butane, fill it up, and you're good to go. It'll last plenty long to do a little project like this. This thing will heat up, the tip will heat up, heat up really, really fast. So I'm gonna take my controller, I've already taken out my little uh, dongle piece, give myself a little bit more room, and I'm gonna identify that area that is, move to the other side, I already did that side, that is zigzag. I already showed you the close-up of this. And I'm just gonna slowly take my torch and I'm going to press up against this plastic. Now I'm gonna to try to show you a close up of this as well uh, so you can see how I'm able just to take a layer off at a time. Let me see if I can get a close up. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for you to see from this angle I think, but let me see if I can do this. You can see I'm just slowly scraping away a little bit of this plastic as it heats up it just kind of slowly falls off i chose to do it this way because i want to be careful not to crack the plastic and cause any more or any harm at all to my controller i want it to function just as it always has and actually look the exact same i don't know why they didn't do this at the point of manufacturing. But you can take this, and I'm slowly eating this away. Let me stop for a second and shine the light on it. And you can see how this is slowly going down. 
All right, you can see how I'm slowly eating away at that area right there. There's a close up for you. Still have a ways to go for it to all be level. You'll see by the time we're done, this will be straight across and allow this arm to go up and down. So let's keep going. All right, it looks like we are getting close to having it be straight across. You can see that little flap of melted plastic. That's where we're gonna take our knife and we're just gonna graze that off, super easy. But it looks like we're getting pretty close to where we can start scraping and see if we can finish up with the, with the razor blade or not. All right, I'm gonna take my knife now and I think you can see this pretty decent. I'm just gonna carefully go back and forth Seeing that little chunk, if you saw that on the video or not, that little chunk of melted plastic just fell right off. Now the inside piece is a little more difficult. You have to kind of position yourself to where you can reach the inside with your razor blade. All right, once you get it smoothed down just a little bit, um, you can take your your razor blade, and you can just kind of shave off uh, a little layer at a time. It's gonna be hard to give you a close-up of this because I'm trying to do this video on my own without any cameraman, which is a little difficult. And uh, you can just kind of slowly take one little layer off at a time to get your final smooth surface and just finish it to whatever point you feel satisfied for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'm going to show you the final product and show you how straight, straight across it is. All right, so I've got it smoothed down. I'm going to try to bring this uh, close up for you, see if I can get decent lighting without using that crazy LED light. Oh, that's a decent shot. You can see this is the side that we were working on. You can see it straight across right here. This allows this arm to go all the way up as well as this arm to go all the way up. Now, if you look at the the wingspan, you might say, of the new Mavic controller now that those little um, zigzags have been leveled down. Let me show you what this allows you to do. This is the best part. <clears throat> you can take your iPad, okay? And you can put the iPad all the way up just like you would the iPhone. And it will grip these arms nice and tight because they're allowing themselves to go up further. It'll fit up in the groove just like the iPhone is supposed to. And now you have your Mavic controller with your iPad. It actually holds better than most of the third party little uh, aftermarket things that people have made up. And you can actually, look, you can take it one hand. The grips are actually holding the iPad in yeah, it, it's still a decent feel or fit for your hands where it does not feel extremely bulky. My hands can still hold the grips, can work the joysticks, and of course be able to easily see the larger iPad screen. So uh, I'm excited. I hope that this helps some of you at least get by until DJI decides to fix this problem and maybe make even a better option for us to use our iPads and maybe even the uh, new screen that, that I hear is coming out from DJI, which can't wait for that to happen, uh, that we can actually fly in the sunlight. That's the next problem that they need to solve. But for now, we've solved one problem with the Mavic controller and pass this on. I hope you like it.